Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on how to create CMX sample ORS and how to configure CMX sample ORS in MDM Hub. What is the CMX sample ORS? So CMX sample ORS is one of the example provided by Informatica in order to understand how the tables will be configured, how, how packages, hierarchy will be configured. Also, there are some examples available in resource kit. Those examples are based on the CMX sample ORS. So if you install CMX sample ORS, it will be easy to execute those examples and see how things work. Along with that, one more benefit of CMX sample ORS is what are the entity 360 or IDD application we configure. So the default application also comes with this CMX sample or so we can configure the IDD or entity 360 degree uh, application using this CMX sample ORS. So it helps a lot during the development time. So it is good idea to install CMX sample ORS in development environment. The higher environment such as SIT, UAT or PROD, CMX sample ORS is not required because it will create unnecessarily extra overload on your application server. So what are the steps involved So, and what are the prerequisites for this? So for this we need to have the very first thing and that is nothing but the sample schema or sample uh, schema zip file. So where you can find that zip file? You will find that zip file inside your but before going to install this same example schema make sure you have installed CMX system and CMX ORS and also you have installed CMX server and CMX clean. So once you are done with that, you can go with the configuration of CMX sample. So that will be more appropriate way. So the very first file we need to have is the MDM sample dump file. So that dump file is available inside MDM hub server. You will see the resources database and this is the MDM sample dump file available. So you can just make a note of that path somewhere so that you can provide. So this is the, we have already captured the location of dump file. Now the next thing is we have to, if you're using the windows, then you have to use the command prompt to achieve the, the installation. If you're using Unix, so then you can use the Unix terminal to do this. So first thing you need to go to this directory inside server there is a bin directory inside mdm hub installation directory so let's go there for ors you have to go to the database files like where are the softwares you have there will be database like you have you might have extracted the database file there will be database directory and then finally it will be bin directory so we'll first go to that location to the cd and here we need to run the create ORS command. So simple, it is very simple command. Zip and create ORS. Click enter. And it will ask what kind of database you want to use. I will give the Oracle. Whether it's a SID or service, let's give the SID. This local host, the port is 1521. That is correct. So let's hit enter. The uh, seed name we are using is ORCL102. So make sure you're using that one. Then uh, DNS name is same. What is the sample uh, ORS name we are going to create? The sample name or uh, ORS name is MDM sample. So that is the schema we are going to create. Give that name here. What is the password you would like to give? You can give any password, there is no restriction. Um, we can use this user as a sysdba password for this user. Index and temporary.
So let's create MDM sample ORS. In order to create sample ORS, you have to go to that directory where database zip and file is present, which is inside database bin directory under the installation directory. And here we have to give the command create ORS. So it's a zip, zip and file. Enter it. Give the name as Oracle database because we are using Oracle database. It is seed, so use the seed word. Host name is localhost. Port is one five two one. Seed name will give uh, what is the seed name? We have ORCL ten two. TNS name is same. What is the schema name which we would like to create? You can give the schema name as MDM sample. Password you can set whatever you want to set. There is no restriction. But the follow the standards. Login as a sys as sys DBA and password will be what the password you have for that sys user. Let's try with service or let's try with uh, the different user. I'll use the seed localhost and seed is ORCL. TNS name is same. Use the schema name as MDM sample. You can set password for this. Use as a sys password for this user. And look at this, we are able to create MDM sample. So it is granting some access to this user. Once this script is done, the next step will have to import the schema. So to import the schema, you have to use this zip and import schema and we'll follow the next steps. But before that, we need to go to this location. So the, the schema is got created. The next thing, let's change the location to C drive. And here we have to execute this import schema. So let's go back and do the import schema. So it will again ask several information. What is the database name? It is of course Oracle. It is said. It is local host. Default port that is 1521. We'll get the seed information from our database configuration. Again, this is TNS name. Connecting URL, you can see the local OS port and the TNS name. So that is default is getting created. Yes, that is true. What is name of schema? MDM sample. Give the provide the password. Use the English as a default language. Enter the zip file. So if you remember, we need to get the zip file location where that sample zip file or dump file present. So I'll just copy here and provide here. Enter. Enter the name of zip file. That is the default name. And it is starting importing this zip file. If you do not have this zip file, you, you will get the error message. 
saying that that zip file is not present so so there will be couple of information it will uh, import with the help of that zip file what this zip file contains let me show you particularly this zip file present inside server as i shown this resources database and this is the sample mdm sample if we extract this mdm sample so this is extracting so it will have a couple of files so you'll see that it contains a bin file and sql files so bins are like executable kind of thing and sql's are the uh, which will be ex executed at the database side so all these tables like address country or the address type all these tables will be created as a part of the import of schema in the database and once it is created we can configure that in the mdm hub so we can see here a couple of things going on so meanwhile let's prepare our mdm hub in the mdm hub we have to register that sample ors so in order to register sample ors go to the database section connect to the master database make sure you have the right log click on this plus icon provide the what type of database we have it is oracle click on the next button it is said click on the next button give the name you can give any name here it is just display purpose I'll give mdm sample what is host name it is local host said you can get of course from this information is available here and we know the port is 1521 that is correct this is TNS name schema name is mdm sample what is password you can provide the password and we can quickly check whether our import is how it's going so it is still importing so you can see the couple of tables are getting created also it is import uh, importing all these bin file which we saw after extraction do we need to extract no we don't need to extract so it is just to information purpose i extracted the zip file internally get extracted on the uh, ex uh, installation side so we don't have to worry about extracting it is, but we need to provide that zip file as an input it will not accept jar file or any other file format and this file is by default get created when you install the mdm hub server so until that get created let's click on the next button so it will show us the name of the display name of the database what is actual schema name and here is the connection button if you want to just the connection there's the connection so that connection is successful click ok do you want to create a data source after registration yes the reason we need to select this is default data source will not be created in the application server so make sure you select this option so that the data source will be created at a server side so now it's the current state is it in creating the indexes so what i'll do i will just wait till that process complete so that i will not avoid uh, this process which is currently going on so the import is successful we can see the success message here now let's go and continue make sure we have selected the create data source after registration click on finish so it will be going to register the database also it will create the data source 
on application server side. In, um, in, in my current environment, I'm using the JBoss, so it will be creating data cells in the JBoss server as a part of this registration. The other option we have, we can, uh, we no need to select that data source option, just simply create and go to the application server and create the data source over there. So we can see the registration of MDM sample is done and it has been registered. Click OK. So you can see the sample is created. Now go to the schema and here select the MDM sample. So when you select MDM sample, it will show us what are the tables available in that MDM sample. So all these tables are available. So no need to create all these tables. It is automatically get created. So all the sources, name, queries, packages, etc. Everything will be available by default. So this is very helpful schema to understand how things work in the MDM. And you can show to business also how things are configured without doing manual configuration. Now, so these are the things about the MDM sample creation and configuration in MDM Hub. I hope this tutorial is going to help you to create the MDM sample schema and configure it. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then do not forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any questions or queries, you can mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and have a nice time.